Welcome again, here is BB Walker, Free Talks and Discoveries channel. And today is the third part of the consideration, the monologue about the uh, theory that the, our world is a simulation, is a, generated by the machine or any other thing that we call the supercomputer in the speech. So let's do the quick memorandum of the first part and the second part. So the first part was the introduction, actually. Uh, on the second part, we were talking about the discrete time and the discrete space. So the Planck time and the Planck distance is an indication that our universe has a limit. If you are interested in this topic in detail, please uh, go back to the second part the link is below the video. Today I would like to continue this topic by giving you more facts, more indications that this theory could be really true. And this thing comes from Albert Einstein and its relativity theory. And the things that we know, the time dilation, and the things that we know about the gravity. In the second part, we are talking as uh, referred to the FPS game. So we know that we need the power, full computer, to get the, the better resolution of the game. And if we want to get better time resolution, we also need more powerful generator, more powerful GPU. So to give you a more smooth render of the simulation, you need to decrease the resolution or decrease the FPS. And those two things are connected. And the fantastic discoveries called the time dilation, which has been experimentally confirmed, uh, show us that big massive objects in the universe, which consist of many many particles, then the matter is very very density around such objects. So those objects actually bend the time which means the time is going much more slower near this huge complex objects like black holes or uh, centers of the galaxies than in the empty spaces of the space-time. This great discovery on the 20th century, which has been done by the Albert Einstein, perfectly fits the theory of the world is a simulation. Why? If you have a computer and play such a FPS 3D game or any other 3D game and you maybe noticed that if you are in a part of the game where a lot of actions happened, a lot of objects come from or they are moving very fast in the scene, the game could be laggy. So in the calm and decent situation the game is smooth and the FPS of the game is cool and, and it's okay for you. But if you start doing some dynamic actions or you are entering the scene where a lot of objects uh, show up, for example, a lot of enemies in a shooter or something like this, the game, the GPU has a lot of more work to do to render those simulation. And in our universe, there is actually the same principle. Okay, if you are near the huge massive object, the galaxy or the black hole, the times slow down so that this discrete time is going low. Also, this thing is applied to the moving object. Objects that are moving very, very fast has a increased time dilation, so the time is moving slower for the people that are, for example, inside the ship. And if you have a ship that is moving with the speed of light, which is the another limit of our universe, the time dilation on such object is infinity. So in such object, the time is not moving. Actually, it's freezed. So if you reach the greatest speed, which is the speed of light for our universe, or if you reach the greatest massive object of our universe, like a great massive 
black hole, you can actually stop the time, which could be described as the universe hangout, as the universe crash. So the supercomputer that generates our time is going to freeze because the massive objects or the very fast moving objects causes that they need much more computer power, much more CPU power to render the surrounding area. This is maybe a science fiction for you, but those two things like time dilation and the bending of time of very fast moving object has been experimentally confirmed by the independent teams of scientists. So this third part is actually the, another indication that we could live in a sim and indication that our universe has a limits that we have measured. So uh, let's get there together. The first is the time resolution by the Planck time. The second is the distance resolution, which is the distance of Planck, the Planck distance. And now the third, which we have is the time dilation of the massive objects and the time dilation of the very fast moving objects. Another limit of the, of the universe is of course the speed of light, because if we are going closer to the speed of light, the energy that needs to move this object near to the speed of light is becoming infinitive. So this, this could be a mechanism to self-control the world. You cannot achieve speed of light with the mass. Only the particles that don't have a mass like photons could achieve the speed of light. But any other particle that have a mass cannot be moved to the speed of light because you need infinite energy to move it to the speed of light. So this is the self-controlling mechanism like a wall in a game. So you cannot go further because you could uh, collapse the world. You could make the simulation crash. And it's really funny about this time dilation things and this gravity that bends the time and this Planck distance, Planck time and this infinite energy that is necessary to move the object to the speed of light, the object that have a mass is impossible. So, so there is a constraint of our universe. We get a lot of this constraint, we, we have talked about this before. So all those things give us more certain idea that this crazy uh, theory for the first time is now very, very tough. And I personally, really, I'm really excited about this theory because it explains so many things, so many limitations of the world that we have uh, now that we have till now and we couldn't go further because we said, oh my God, something different happens on this lower scale. Something really scary happens of the quantum level and also something really disturbing happens with the time of this huge great object observed by the Hubble telescope and other new telescopes on the far, far away space. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoy our videos. Uh, if you have any thoughts, comments, please give us below the video. I will answer all of them and see you later.